Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Overlord series. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 5. This episode was previously streamed and recorded on Twitch. These guys give me the growth. Um, give me the attack uh, on mine. Actually, is that the first thing I want to lay down? No, no, no. I laid down robots and I want the gene points. Okay. And then... Yeah, because they just took a person and hired them. Um, what are we going to do here? There's not a lot of minerals and we have 123 right now. Hmm. The smart thing to do on this planet might be food and generator districts. That might be what we want to do especially generators we're going to need we're going to have maintenance costs incoming transmission what do these guys want so anybody that wants okay establishing him see yep anybody that wants oh so look it changed colors why did it change color now it's the dark red before it was orange i feel like somebody's listening to me and making changes in the code in real time <laughs> That's non-aggression pattern. Achieved. That's odd. Now it's red. Like it used to be. How bizarre. Is it? Hmm. There, oh, and it's red because there are no valid auto-migration destinations. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that. Now the color change makes sense. No valid auto migration destination so you can go down here and you can say who's unemployed and it's going to show you it's a skerexy and there's no valid auto move generation that's so cool okay auto migration destinations so if you have any kind of auto migration at all this person would take advantage of it but they can't because you don't have any jobs anywhere no jobs. There's zero jobs available on this planet. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to put two people to work and then build a district there. Oh, this is... Okay. I legitimately am going to have to change my opinion about things because these are good changes. <laughs> these are smart changes. That's the thing that I haven't seen in a long time. These are smart changes. Somebody was thinking on that. Oh my gosh. I'm impressed. I'm legitimately impressed. Yeah, pop growth speed. Yep, yeah, okay. I am legitimately impressed. That is really cool. So we got what? You're only level two, but you're the next physics person in line, buddy. So guess what? It's you. All right. Wow. Yeah. Ralph says nice. Yes, it is nice. It's very nice. I'm very stunned about that whole thing. Okay. So here's a genius, half genius. That's basically me. Half genius. Um, oh my gosh. That's so funny. That is cool. Good changes. Oh my gosh. Paradox. Cheers to you. I'm going to drink. That's awesome. Drink every time Paradox makes a, makes a nice change in this game. That's good stuff. Incoming transmission. Well, this is why I decided not to uninstall the game. I just took Incoming a break from it because I was really hoping that they would make some good changes to the game. And lo and behold, I think they have. <laughs> Form a non-aggression pact. Yes. What is this? Commercial pact invitation. They are a military commissariat. And they are not a mega corporation. So I will do that and get some cash. And you will get some cash. That's nice. This. What's going to happen here on the Senate floor? Security contractors. What does this do? Mercenary. Auto Naval capacity minus 10%. Construction complete. Nobody's there. It's going to pass without us, so it doesn't matter. Research agreement proposal. We can learn and they can learn. Yes, we'll do that. We'll make some friends. Oh, and over here we've got features. We can do the volcano now. Great. Yes. 
Yes, so... So after several minutes, Raul, I can say... Yeah, I'm enjoying it because they made some good changes. I'm really surprised. This is great. I'm glad that we're doing this on the stream. This is this is cool. Defensive pact. No, because I don't want to get involved in your war with somebody. Although, look what they're at. How many? Wow, they got a lot of systems. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How strong are they? They're what? The Proglabier Coalition. And their fleet power is overwhelming compared to us. You know what? We're going to do that. That way, if these jerks up here decide to go to war with us, you guys will come help. I'm... I am entertained. Are you not entertained? I'm entertained, and I also want to get this trade here. Um, there's 16 here, 2 here, 1 there. There's going to be some more here if we take this dingbat and move him over here. Uh, and I'm going to build a couple more of those. Yeah, this is interesting. Really interesting. So, how far do I want to go? Probably right there. Yeah, 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 right there. Let's build. We'll upgrade that one. We're going to grab some trade from there. Scientific breakthrough. Achieved. Oh, harvesting traps. Yeah, we need to start grabbing some of that stuff. Energy credits from technicians. Well, let's grab that. Okay, you're at Gomesia and you're doing nothing. Let's just hire somebody then and get the... Oh, because there's a half-genius ready to go. There's a half-genius ready to go, so you can come down here and assist research. Okay, victory conditions. The Synthoid continuity are in number one. And we're way down here. So, technological level 355. Their tech level is 768? Oh, good lord. Okay. Oh, wow. Shanty for traders, 635. We gotta catch up. Translate more lyrics. Up comes the great dragon message in a bottle. This is really funny because this was a song from the police that I just started learning this week. Um because the only song I've ever known how to play from them on guitar is Every Breath You Take. And that's hilarious. Message in the bottle. Up comes the dragon in search of our home through space to a place that's beneath waves and foam. Oh, boy. Okay. That space dragon doesn't sound good. Unless it's going to be our friendly pet. Interesting. Well. There we go. There's the donut. There is the donut. How interesting. <laughs> See, and right now, I mean, who wants to eat a donut with all those different flavors on it? And that's why I work so hard to make it one donut. It's it's just a one donut with sprinkles. Private collector. Everyone has a price. Yes. In our case, it's going to be a green donut. Although I didn't turn off the victory year. So this will end at 2500. But maybe if I'm having a lot of fun, we'll actually try to conquer the galaxy. It's just more fun when you have a victory screen as a result. Conquest will forever and always be the most fun way to play these games. What is this? The Council of Scientific Scholars. Science Without Borders. Oh, guess who's here? Guess who's here? Come here. You're going to have to be really loud for people to hear you. Okay. Because it's a dynamic mic now, honey. So you have to actually purr into the microphone. Yeah. Does that Scientific mean you want outside? Breakthrough achieved. 
Is that why you're here? Because you want out, John. Yeah. Construction complete. It's a little late for you to be going outside. You're not even purring. You're pathetic. All right. Miss Pathetic needs to go outside. The birth of space piracy. Boo. Okay. Construction um, complete. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Basic strength craft and a hangar bay. We're gonna need those to suppress, suppress the piracy. You folks. Do we need to recruit a general? Not necessarily. Are we going to? Yeah. We're gonna go over there and get that, and then, uh, and then I'm gonna have to stand up from this chair and and go let Ding Dong out. So, emergency faster than light casualties. Fleet suffered casualties. Ships lost. Ships damaged. Oh, that's the science ship escaping. Okay. Message in a bottle. Up come swarms of robots. Get ready to run. Fight one, ten, a dozen. A thousand, eleven hundred and one. Okay, well, that's, that's how you get Skynet. Um, huh, okay. So here we got the unemployment icon, but it's orange because this person technically can move somewhere else because there are open jobs. That is fantastical. Of course, we can also force move them. Um, we can force move them to Gomesia. We don't have to wait for them to do that. We could just say, do this. Go there. Go to Gomesia. Gomesia says, well, I don't have any more jobs. What do you want me to do? And I say, mm, industrial districts, my love. All right. I'm going to pause this. I'll be right back. the only thing I hate about that cat. Gotta go in and out. Gotta go in and out. It's like, oh, please stop. Just stay in. Just stay in or go out and stay out. But nope. In and out, in and out, in and out. Active volcano. We're going to put more research down. We're behind. We're behind other people. So, we gotta catch up. There's some other other tech that's ahead of us. I'm not a fan of, of that. What is this? Senate is now in session. On the floor is form the galactic market. Why would anybody not want to do that? There's crystals down here. We're gonna have to get that. Crystals. Planets are terraforming there at about a little over one third of the way through, getting, getting closer to halfway done. That's what does the cat do outside? Well, her business, but also she just likes to be Incoming outside. She patrols our corner of the block and makes sure that no unapproved cats are allowed nearby. We have two we have two oops. Excuse me. Ah, I'm sure that sounded horrible. We have two strays. Um, that have made our out the outside of our house their home and they're very cute and very friendly and we in fact got one of them fixed because she had kittens so um, and our cat allows them to be here so since their cat approved they can stay but there are other cats in the neighborhood that try to come over to our place and and uh, our cat shoes them off she's a she's a tuxedo cat so she's a black and white so it kind of fits she's a black and white she's a cop She's the cop cat, so she goes out there and makes sure that unapproved people, unapproved cats don't get a hangout. 
Oh, migration treaty. Awesome. Yeah. And that's that's what I say. I call her the black and white as a nickname. All right. So this planet here, Arid World. Great. So we so it's not going to affect any of the ones that we're terraforming right now. And then suddenly, we can take this Arid World that is 21 and we can say, hey. It's got minerals from jobs at plus 5%. Okay. Colonize it with our new friends here. These guys. Zabine. All right. So do we want to spend 2,000 of our unity on electing somebody? Unity from jobs plus 10%. Or... Any of these people would probably be good. I don't see anything here that would be bad. Leader lifespan, monthly minerals, Corvette build cost, Starbase build cost, fleet expansion. I'm going to abstain and see what they do. Are we? Who are we going to get? Well, who's our current leader? Oh, nobody. Strategist. Abstain. Who do we get? New ruler, we have elected Tupra Vagras, previously envoy of Skerexi Prime to become the next ruler. It's the shipbuilding one. Leader lifespan, monthly minerals, and shipbuilding. That's fine. I'm totally okay with that. All right, you're there doing what? Nothing? Assist with research. Because uh, we, we sent the fleet here to take care of this. So, so how did... There shouldn't have been... Piracy, should they? So we got this star base should go to here, and that star base should go to there. And what do we get here? Message in a bottle. Our exploration has revealed a glance of ancient history, displaying the zeal and courage of ancient explorers. Clearly, the captain used this space shanty to motivate and coordinate the crew. Perhaps they even sang along. Our archaeologists are suggesting this performance should be preserved in a museum installation. Okay. <laughs> All right. Memorize the lyrics and set the next course. Harmonious crew modifier. I give in the following effect. Sublight speed plus 10%. Interesting. Okay. The space shanty. Uh, yeah. Capacities and subsidies in the energy grid. Grab that. Yeah. So the one cat is out. Inside to outside, and that's the part I don't like. She wants to go in and out and in and out. And the other cat, Lucy, the mascot of this channel, is an indoor-only cat, which makes her very nice to deal with because she just wants to be inside. And that makes me happy. <laughs> I'm going to put two... Am I going to put two trade hubs down or just one for right now? Just one. Let's see. Because we should get the hangar base soon. In nine months. We're going to grab this trade. Scientific breakthrough achieved. So here we go. You should be going to there. Yep. And you're going home. That's great. Pop growth speed. What do we got? More tile blockers. Sure. No, let's do this. Planetary Capital Hall of Judgment. You guys can go home. Return home. And then let's... Uh, let's do more of this. Reinforce the fleet. Start building. And let's see if we can get ourselves in a position where... We're not so far behind all of our neighbors. Construction complete. Because being behind is no good. Okay, you're over there. You have done that full archaeology site. That's all there is for you to do. There's really nowhere else for you to go to do research. Because this isn't a research world. This is just a brand new world. But we'll have you go do research there. You guys are going to need more jobs, aren't you? Okay. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Food. Construction complete. Dense jungle, which we still haven't got to yet. Hasn't shown up on research. 
There we go. Strike craft gas extraction wells. Grab it. Alright, so over here we can say, hey, we can grab hangar bay. Lacking. And that'll help with the old piracy bit, because we're gonna have this. This is gonna keep building. Um If this gets a little bigger here, when we can upgrade this and put a, another hangar bay on it, that hangar bay, second one will stretch to here and it should be enough to suppress that spot right there. Otherwise, we'd have to do it here. This has got two because it's grabbing from Gomesia, and later on it's going to grab Anastasia. What is this planet over here? Tomb World, so we can't do that one. And this is... That's Alpine World. Okay. You... Grab this so we can start terraforming it. That would be good. And we get to pick our next one. Fleet command limit increased by 20, which is significant. Or ship fire rate. If we have to go to war, the ship fire rate will probably be useful right now. What are you doing? No orders? Oh, no. no. We're going to change that. You're sitting over here twiddling your thumb. And get that. Get those moats, baby. Alright. More of this. Plasma throwers. The conquest of a new world has begun. Let's get that cold fusion reactor. Conquest of a new world. Okay, and you can also upgrade your capital. Yay. Let's do planetary administration before you do those city districts. That way you can get better crime, anti-criming. How old are you, bud? You're level 5. You're age 72. Complete. Okay. Build mining, we can start terraforming this one because all it costs is money. Which we actually have. It's a miracle. We have money in this tomb world. This is uh, quite the deal. Ruined orbital ring. It takes 50 influence. Wait a minute, what has orbital rings? Yeah, we don't have orbital rings technology. But when we do, it's going to cost us 500 alloys, 50 influence, and we'll be able to... Construction complete. Fix it. Fix it, Felix. Fix it. That'll be kind of cool, won't it? Well, what do you all think? I mean, it's Stellaris. Okay, what other gaps do we want to fill in here? Do we want to start moving in this direction because there's the crystals? Yeah, we do. Oh, first get this engineering. Do that. Then do this. You up here can upgrade, so do it. I'm going to send you guys over here to suppress this piracy for now. I'm just going to sit there. Because it's at what? Current piracy minus 1.2. Say, and it's getting minus, minus, minus. And when it gets to minus 8.4, then you're... Then you've spawned pirates. What are we voting on over here? Form the galactic market. Okay. Cool beans. Yeah, that's almost a wasted building right there. Not quite, but almost. I can resettle you to where? Who has a job? <laughs> Who has job? Oh, right here. Dathana. Put you people to work right away. Tathon is like, man, I just just had those slots. Yeah. Okay, so you got the two growth pieces here. Encounter. So the question is, what do we want to do here? 
They've got five amenities, so I don't think we need a whole theater just yet here. Um, commercial zones provide trade value and amenities. Some amenities. Let's build the attack on money. You're going to want to have... I don't know what the magic numbers are. That's the thing. It's going to take a while to figure out the math. It's going to take some time to figure out kind of what the magic numbers are as far as how many of what buildings you should build. People have been begging me to do a new uh, planetary management video. And I kind of want to, but that is a very time-consuming thing to do. And it's going to take a while just to figure out there's this archaeology set up there. It's going to take a while to figure out what the magic numbers are. How many autochthon monuments should you build? How many research facilities should you build? Achieved. So there's that. There's synthetic crystal plants. There's the coil gun. I want that. The Batharian power. We have established a new planetary Excellent. Base. Zabine. New cast spell. We can now use the appropriation cast spell against the Habazoon Syndicate. They've established a new branch off in Dathana. Breakthrough achieved. What, 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 wait, what? Ruthless capitalists. Yes, but... <laughs> we don't have a commercial pact with them. I'm confused. This empire might have more diplomatic pacts that we do not know of yet. Rivaled by, rivaled by, rivaled by. Has closed borders. We do not have an agreement with them. So they just were able to build anyway? That doesn't seem right. Huh. Why can they why can they do that? The Hasbuzin Syndicate on Dathana. They've built holdings, no corporate holdings. So what is this thing? Has established a new branch office on Dathana. I don't see it yet though. Does it show up at the end of the month? Oh yeah, there's a slot right there. It's open. How are they able to do that? Close the branch office. We know that not the owner. Yeah, but the previous version of the game, you had to have a commercial pack before you could open a branch office with someone. So how is the AI doing that? Or did they just change the rules? Now I got to go play a corporate, a mega corporation to figure out what the rules are again, apparently. That's... A little strange. I'm a little perplexed by that. Maybe they just wanted to make it easier to play a Megacorp. I mean, that totally could be. Yeah, I put that person in there. I know. I got this person. I bought him and he's a level one. I didn't replace him with one of my semi-geniuses who are leveled up. I probably should. So here's what we'll do. Who's our best leveled up geniuses? Level two, level two. He's level four, but he's my archaeologist. So he doesn't really count. He's level five. And he's busy commanding. He's 82 years old. So we should definitely use him instead. Because his number is yeah, plus 70%. And then what we'll do is we'll prep this person since they're level one they can do assist research yeah I'm just a little puzzled by that so this upgrade gives you politicians turn consumer goods into unity and amenities see I like that that kind of makes sense Politicians turn consumer goods into unity. Or division. <laughs> Depending on who they are. Enforces decreased crime and spawn defense armies. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Give me more jobs. Zabine, you're brand new. You need 
robot workers. And so far I'm letting it just auto-generate these, auto-designate. This one is saying it's an industrial world. Artists and upkeep and metal are just upkeep. Great. Okay, so it's doing both of those. That's fine. This is a food world. Sabine doesn't know anything yet because it's a colony. It's going to have a ton of minerals, actually. Complete. Energy credits from technicians. Okay. Oh, and what do they got up here for a mega structure? What do they have here? The Ruined Strategic Coordination Center. Complete. Well, well, well. Okay, construction ship. You finished that. What? Am, oh, and what's this over here? Alien vessels? Oh, well. We should go blow them up, shouldn't we? Okay, this is upgrading. It's 12 days away. What kind of awesome timing was that? Construction complete. Perfect. Give me a hangar bay. And then give me a second trade hub. And give me food. And probably a resource silo would be good. And I can hear the indoor cat playing with something. Okay. You're going to do that and then this because very soon we're going to be able to grab those crystals. You. Oh, grab this gas. Grab this gas, my friend. What are you doing? Moving. Yes. But specifically one war declaration. The Shantari free traders against the Lagan Chus. Well, that's the second time the Lagging Chews have been involved in a war. They're just having a, a bad galaxy day. Minerals from miners. This bastion over here, what are we at? 1.1k. Yes, let's upgrade it. Not that we're going to need it, because these guys are our buddies. What's our fleet look like? Well, it's getting there. Are you guys still building stuff? Breakthrough achieved. Construction complete. Tile blockers, yay. Gene modification points, okay. Faction unity bonus, 10% and a deep space black site. Oh. oh. Stop. What are we, as the terraforming is settling down, we discovered that the project has put us in an unanticipated situation. We did not need as many resources as we initially set aside to finish the project, and now we have the chance to add on one additional feature to this planet. Wow. Okay. See if we can't develop more space for mining districts, generator districts, or ag districts. This is on Solernia 3. Drop of the world. Okay, but what's it look like? Oh, it has plenty of mining districts. Then give me more. Because I want to be able to focus it. That's great. Okay. Hot dog and a shake, baby. That's great. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, so same thing on this planet. I like these events. These are really cool. What do we have here? More mining districts. Okay. All right, now let's see if we can do this. Society research, 20%. That's nice. It's going to stay there for a while. I want this faction unity bonus. Okay, you're here. You moved over here. What are you doing? No orders. What do you mean? What am I missing here? Oh, it's on this, that space. That's why my eyeball wasn't seeing it right there. Well, hot dog. This is cool. Okay. Commercial packed invitation. Those guys are going to do that. 
upgrade ascension tier. You must have three ascension perks to unlock ascension tier one. And that's going to cost you 2200 unity. Okay. Planetary decimation effects plus 25% and planetary empire size minus five. So that affects your sprawl a little bit. Automatic resettlement destination chance plus 25%. That's fantastic. That gives you a... That alone, the resettlement thing, gives you a incentive to upgrade those. So obviously you want to upgrade the bigger planets first so people have more likelihood of moving to those planets for those jobs. That's cool. Okay, and now we have... And now we have the crime, of course, because guess what? Crime, plus 50%. Smuggler's port. So apparently these guys because they're a criminal syndicate so I'm guessing this is a feature of being a criminal syndicate is that they don't have to have a commercial pact with us to put a branch office down so the Hasboon punks their fleet power is superior and they have six planets and where are they located at Oh boy. Okay. Oh, not what I wanted to deal with was the criming. <laughs> Darn it. Son of a gun. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to deal with it, aren't we? Every world gets one of those, but there's a stronghold already on it, so I'm going to put a research lab on it and keep adding to our research. This one is mostly this kind of stuff. So, Scientific oh, but there is research on here. Achieved. Okay. Oh, but they don't have one of these yet. Grab it. Make it so. Unlock chemical plants. Yeah. That's really interesting, though. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of crime. <laughs> Raul says, yikes. Yes, exactly. That's a, that's a lot of crime. That is a lot of crime. Scum and villainy. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a gun. Uh, and so it's going to be harder to go to war because they're way up here. Okay, I got a plan. Uh, and that plan involves this guy. He's excavating an archaeological site. When he's done, Construction I'm going to have him kind of wander up here and start to try to find a way to get around. We got it. We may need it. We may be reliant on, on a wormhole or something to be able to get over there and go to war with those guys. That's gonna it's gonna put a damper on our ability to to get things done. Darny darn darn. But it is what it is. You gotta have some challenge, especially since we were getting ourselves in a pretty good position here with our defensive pact and stuff to to put ourselves in a, in a safe place so it kind of makes sense that the game would come along and be like yeah you're not as safe as you think ya features okay yeah so one criming building gets me down to 5% which is nice I don't want to have to take two to do that but Later on, we may have to hire a governor for that. Right now, we got our research one. So, research governor says we're, we're in spot 10 at tech level 465. So, the man, the mandate of Mac is smacking up there. These guys are at 496, 536. There's a couple there in the 89 there. Big chonkers. Damage versus star bases. Complete command limit. Okay, so we're almost done with that. We still don't have what I really want. Mastery of nature is nice. I have to do some math here and figure out exactly what I want to take to conquer the galaxy with. 
She only got eight slots. Here. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Let's do. Yeah, mineral purification plant. That's what I want. Doink. These two slots here are unnecessary. Let's replace those with industrial districts. This is our home world, so, you know, it's always trying to do everything all at once early, but. That is no longer necessary. Crystal mines, yep, we knew that was coming. And the cruiser was there, I saw that. Construction complete. Dathana. Let's get the rest of your jobs here. Construction complete. I think we'll figure out the rest of that. What we gotta do is this this planet here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to see if I need that last city district or not there. So Skerexi is going to grab some more of these industrial districts. Oh, and I can provide more jobs here when that gets upgraded. That's great. So here, this can be upgraded for a moat. And we have one moat. So if we wanted to completely get rid of the crime, we could do that. For one moat. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Let's do it then. Chemical plants. Com basic combat rules. That's what I've been waiting on. Okay. So I need another planet here. This is this is going to be the one. Okay. Consumer goods and yeah, again, mining and consumer goods. This one says it's auto designated. I think I just want to put it right here. I'm going to manually do that myself. Galactic market is established. That's wonderful. You can, in fact, don't build that one. Do that. That'll make it happen. Okay, what do we got here? The Treaty Robot Debris. Our archaeologists have learned that after a long and bitter war, the two embers, empires inhabiting this corner of the galaxy some 200,000 years ago signed a treaty compelling them to settle all future disputes, with, disputes within a range and highly regulated combat and get, yeah, yeah, yeah robot armies. That's fun. Rock'em, sock'em robots. That's how we'll settle our disagreements, the rock'em, sock'em robots. Okay, you're up there, and I was thinking the smart thing for you to do might be able to just move here and start trying to get an idea for what's available over there what's available hmm yeah and you're doing what you're doing consumer goods too since you have Scientific both breakthrough achieved. yeah industrial work. let's do that this world is a little different it's saying auto designate, but I'm saying food. Research chemical bliss. No, we don't need that. Diplomatic weight in the embassy complex. Yeah. So what do we got here? These guys. Dull edge. Staying ahead of the curve and not allowing any fellow empires to be more than equivalent in tech will please... Yeah, well, that's going to be hard to do. Science without borders. Uh, I'll try, but... <laughs> it's it's going to be tough. What are we voting on now? The ready shield. Diplomatic weight from fleet power. I want naval capacity. Yeah, we'll throw our weight behind that breakthrough one. Achieved. Charter of workers' rights. Pan-galactic recycling initiatives. Diplomatic weight from economy. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Who's that? Regulatory facilitation. Dipl yeah, we'll support that one. What do we have here? Mining station output. Ion thruster. UV laser. Okay. What's our fleet looking like? Your um, oh, yeah. oh, I see. Upgrade the fleet, but I can't. They can't all be upgraded. Okay. 
Return home. We should be fine on trade, right? Yep. Well, that's because they were there. We'll see what it looks like when they leave. Because we put this, uh, this other hangar bay there. It should stretch. Well, well, well. If it isn't Stellaris. Yeah, so Dathana has... If we go take our people here... Well, I don't want to pull the medical workers off of this. We just need another person over here. So Dathana, I've got... I'm going to move some people. Resettle them to Dathana. Scraxy Prime, because I want those workers here. Yeah, get an extra cop in there, and now we don't have any crime. But that's just because they only have the one branch office. You know they're going to add something else over here soon that's going to have a bunch of crime on it, too. Crimers. Criming. Criminy. Yeah, so what we should build here is... Happiness. Dathana has a job. You got a bunch of jobs. Which planet is this? Zabine? Okay. Oh no. Gomesia. Yeah, send him to. Oh, he moved by himself. Well, that's nice. Zabine. Yep, and he moved right over here and took this job. That's great. So there is some default chance of them moving on their own that apparently is really low. And then you can improve it with this the ascension upgrade tier the technology that goes on a star base and later on greater than ourselves <laughs> which sounds it all sounds very neat um this yeah make these I keep sending people over here that's the world this is gonna be great this is a big huge world here so where's our next biggest one that's 18. This is 23. Scientific breakthrough oh, achieved. look how pretty you are. Look how pretty you are. Now we're going to be able to spread. Now we got... Yeah, and there's our cruiser. Habitat City District Housing. I'll take that. Right. So. Okay, hold on. Build mining station. And the other guy can go over here and build a star base there. And we've got some extra. Okay. We now have 22k. Upgrade your ships. Reinforce the fleet. You'll be a full 50. We can go in here and make you even bigger. But we might wait for the cruisers for that. You're going to come over here and nuke these guys. 2,000. Fleet power is equivalent with them. They're still superior. I feel like we're making progress. Maybe it's an illusion. It's an illusion. Scientific it's all fake. Construction Let's grab this. Research. Hmm. Improved reactor. Okay, my friend. Complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are. Look, there's a bunch of minerals here and some science too. So let's do that. We have money at 22k. This is a small world, after all. It's a war zone on Dathana, gang wars. That's the tomb world. We can't do anything about that. And this is a tomb world over here. We can't do anything about that. What we can do is pay to terraform this one right now. Tropical, that's us. And this one over here is tropical and it's 21. Do we, do we have, where are you guys going? Colonizing Anastasia 3. So they're going down there to colonize Anastasia. Scientific okay. breakthrough achieved. So if I want to colonize this one, which is also a big fat planet. My big fat planet wedding. Okay. Embassy comments. Building slots. Yay, that's another one. 
Dathana. <laughs> yeah, but look. Got a crime down to zero for right now. That's all right. It's all right. I'm holding down. They got some gang wars going on here. Gang wars. Declare martial law. Increases stability. Yeah, but stability is pretty good. Bureaucratic output plus 20%. Hmm. Yeah, I'm impressed. We're going to wind down this stream here pretty soon in the next few minutes. And I'm going to thank you all for hanging out here. Set the planet spinning again. A unique situation has occurred. On Lemsa, just as the terraforming efforts are winding down, our terraforming specialists have discovered that it's possible to tidally lock the planet. This occurring naturally can be quite a detriment to a colony. However, doing it during terraforming process could allow us to exploit the endless solar hours the day side will receive and generate an obscene amount of energy. Do it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to wind the stream down. Um... But thank you, Raul, and everybody else who's been here. Encounter. It's been fun having you here. These videos will get sliced and diced and put on the YouTube in the timeline, in Scientific order. Uh, uh, most of the... Yeah, th uh, you're welcome for the stream. I wish I could do it more often. That's... Uh, this is something I enjoy doing, and I just really wish I could do more of it. But it's Our really hard to find this kind of... Superior. It's really hard to find this kind of free time in my home by myself. Uh, the, the wife is gone this weekend. That's why there's a stream. She's off watching her, her eldest graduate college. So, Which is a pretty exciting time. So I'm home alone. I would definitely like to do more streaming. I enjoy it. Scientific breakthrough achieved. So most of the rest of this will probably take place on the YouTube channel. I'll pre-record these like I always do and launch them. Um, yeah, is the wife doing well? As well as she can be. I mean, you're talking about someone who owned a restaurant for 15 years and that was her life. And she was very good at it. Um, she's, you know, kind of struggling to find her place right now. She was a head chef at a different restaurant after her restaurant closed, after her vengeful, vindictive business partner closed it. Uh, they were actually staying afloat during the pandemic, which was really cool. She was doing so much extra work to keep that restaurant afloat during the pandemic. They were not in the red. They were able to pay all their bills. And, but, you know, some people are just jerks. So she got a head chef job after her business closed and she was a head chef somewhere for about four or five months. But that was just too hard, I think, for her not being able to be in charge um, because she would see things that needed to be done and she would try to take initiative. But there's only so much you can do. Um, I remember her coming back. This is a great story. In the like the first week she was working there, this was a place that was a bar and served food and was a nightclub and she said they had a big weekend it's in a college town so she comes back and she says they had a big weekend and she's like i went into the bathroom and, and the the sinks are tan who has a tan sink so she said she she got some pumice stones and started cleaning them because they were dirty and people had vomited and stuff like that and she came back to me and she goes oh my god the sinks aren't really tan they were white porcelain underneath just years and years of gunk buildup. Nobody had, nobody had addressed it. And, uh, and she's a clean freak. Uh, I don't know if you've ever watched any of Gordon Ramsay's kitchen nightmare shows, but you know, one of the first thing Gordon Ramsay always does is go into their freezer and lockers and all that kind of stuff and, and look and see how dirty they are. And they're invariably they're dirty. Because if somebody has a failing restaurant, they, the reasons are usually the same. They make bad food, they treat their customers like crap, they treat their servers like crap, and they're dirty. And my wife's place is the opposite of all of that. And I was like, Gordon Ramsay could come in this place and he would not be able to find a speck of dust anytime. So her working at a place where they didn't operate like that 
was hard for her. And it was just hard to not be in charge. It was just really hard for her to not be the boss, you know? So, so she's doing something else now. And it's not the same. And uh, she makes a joke every now and then about how she feels like she's one of those characters in a movie that, you know, has lost their job and is having a midlife crisis and doesn't know what they're going to do with the rest of their life. Um, and I'm doing, I'm doing my thing, you know, just be supportive and let her know she's awesome. And, and, uh, I hope it all works out, but I'm still really bitter and angry at her business partner. Uh, she had an awesome place. The building has been sold. A new restaurant has moved in there. It doesn't look like it's doing nearly as well, which it wouldn't because it's not hers. <laughs> um, it's pretty funny. I mean, it's just, yeah, thanks, Raul. I hope it does work out for her somehow. I, I hope. Uh, you know, it, it's it's like the pandemic was already hard enough, right? The pandemic was already terrible. <laughs> and then we have to have this on top of it, you know? It's just like, come on. But uh, it's one of those crazy things. But she's over in uh, Seattle this weekend watching her, her eldest daughter, my stepdaughter, graduate from college which is pretty awesome so we have four kids they're all pretty awesome my daughter graduated high school this year so she's getting ready to go off to college next year so I was I'm doing the dad thing there where it's I just can't believe I can't believe how fast the high school years go like they're a freshman and then it's over you know you blink and it's done um, it's just insane so that's a hard thing to take you know, you want your kids to grow up and be awesome human beings and you're really happy that they are awesome human beings and they're doing so well, but they're, they're off doing their thing, man. You know, they spread their wings and they go fly and it's like, okay, don't forget us. Stop by sometime. We'll always cook you a meal. <laughs> it's just so strange. It's one of the most strange, weird feelings in the world watching your children just take off. And I'm not sure any parent can ever possibly get used to it. Um. Uh, but to circle back, Stellaris, I'm back, <laughs> and I would say after this morning's stream and today's stream that I am impressed with the changes that they uh, have made to the game. I particularly like that they have done this and give us some some guidance again on fleet power economic and tech level strength compared to us that this to me is a huge change this is gigantic i am so in favor of this change and not re having to rely on espionage to get this information now hopefully espionage will give you more information and that'd be fine but that basic information was really really necessary so i like that i like this change Obviously, I like it because I suggested it, but I think it's even cool that they... I just think it's cool that they implement it. I don't know if it was my post that made them think of this, if they had an internal discussion about it, if anybody, if anybody else brought it up. I think it's pretty funny that my suggestion only got like six likes and, uh, and some people poo-pooed it and was like, no, that's dumb. Uh, well, hey, guess what? It's in the game, so... I think this is cool. This is cool because to me, this does what I wanted it to do, which is it provides a way to earn unity. It does it in a logical way and it makes it so factions are important now. So you're going to want to make an effort to maximize these and promote them and stuff so that you can earn more. So I like this. This is cool. Um, it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to keep playing. We're going to see what's going to happen, but I'm going to end the stream tonight. Thank you, everybody who hung, hung out, everybody who came by. Uh, thanks for watching, as always. I'll try to do more in the future. I can't promise anything tomorrow. I did get a beta key for Terra Invicta from Hooded Horse, who made Old World that I've been playing and putting on the channel. I'm really excited to take a look at that game. It's in a very early beta stage. I'm thankful they sent me the key, so I want to spend some quality time with that game tomorrow, seeing what's going on. But this, I'll keep playing. It'll keep showing up on the YouTube channel. Make sure you're subbed. Make sure you get the notifications. It's coming at you. Thanks for, for thank thank you, everyone, for dropping by, for talking, for chatting, for hanging out. I'll see you all next time.